Hey Pisces, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is the Connected Conduit. And this is a timeless message for you, Pisces. So whenever you find it, you are meant to. Again, thanks for being here, you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay. So Pisces, just before I hit the record button, I heard pregnant. <laughs> okay. Um, that's very specific. And there's a couple meanings coming through with it. So one is that you could be pregnant with a new idea or you're about to give birth to the new in your life, right? Like Empress energy. And obviously the second message coming through with that is if you are able to bear a child or give birth to a child, then you may be um, getting pregnant and having a baby soon. So that's what I heard. I heard the word pregnant. So it just depends. It depends. Um, for some of you, it's giving birth to the new. And for others of you, it's actually having a baby. So if that's what you want, then if that's what you're trying to manifest, then I definitely feel that is happening for you. Yeah, I am tapping into a female Pisces right now, just for the moment. This is very specific, you guys, okay? So if this part of the message doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. It doesn't mean that this message is not for you. It's just that this part is very specific. Um, I am tapping right now into a female Pisces who is very much hoping to get pregnant because I see you touching your belly. You're either just about to discover that you're pregnant or you've just recently discovered that you're pregnant and you're thrilled about it. That's coming through. Giving and receiving. This is a gift. I'm getting emotional for you, Pisces. This is a gift. This is something that you wanted. Um, I feel like this is, yeah, it's a gift from the divine. Okay. And we have, oh my gosh. We have a man standing with his child here. Okay. So there's, there's a child here for you. Even if you are, you know, a male and you're wanting to, to have a child or maybe you want to adopt or, you know, maybe you're a, um, a same-sex couple, right? Maybe there's two males and you're hoping to have a child. Well, you're going to have it, okay? So it doesn't matter your gender or your situation. If you're wanting a child, <laughs> I'm getting really emotional. It's coming. The universe, spirit, the divine, whatever you believe in. You're about to receive this gift. Oh my gosh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. I'm crying. <laughs> You're making me cry. Oh, okay. Whew. Oh, the perks of being an empath, hey? Oh, this is really beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's a 20 blossom. Look at it. It's you like finding out like that you're pregnant and you're like touching your belly. Like that's what I saw. I saw like a woman like smiling and looking down at her tummy and like touching it. And it, it's kind of like what this woman is doing in the card. She's looking straight into this orb, which looks like a pregnant woman's womb. And the word blossom, the word blossom is all about like growing, like growing a baby inside of you. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Pisces. I'm hearing pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Look, trust, trust is coming out on the bottom. So Pisces, I feel like you've had to trust in this process and just know and have faith that you will get pregnant. You will have a baby, okay? This child is coming into your life. You've had to have trust and faith and it's about to pay off, okay? Some of you could be taking, you know, a leap or a risk. Um, like maybe 
one message I am receiving is that you're trying different ways to conceive. Some of you could be exploring like in vitro um, or like other methods like this in order to get pregnant. And whatever it is that you're trying, it's going to be successful. Throat chakra. I feel like this is you receiving news. Okay. I think you've had disappointing news in the past, but that's about to change. Okay, let's see what else. And again, you guys, if this is not is not an actual child for you, this is you like um, giving birth to something new, a new business, a new creative project, a new idea. Discovering a gift you have. A talent. We have eight coming out, helpless and hopeless. So that's the eight of swords. That's feeling stuck. Um, yeah, so I was picking up on this energy that you may have been received. You may have received, you know, disappointing news in the past. Okay, I feel like... For example, if you were trying to get pregnant, I feel like you may have had, um, you may have struggled with this, okay? You may have struggled conceiving. And again, if you're not trying to actually get pregnant, um, you may have just struggled finding your passion, finding your purpose, finding your gift, finding, you know, what you're good at in life, okay? Oh my gosh, we have another six coming out. We have six, six, six out here, you guys. That is a gorgeous number. Um, it's a number of love. It's a number of balance. Okay, look up the angel number, six, six, six. You could have a life path, number six. Or 33. Um, do you know what I'm noticing in this card? Do you see how these vines are intertwined? Do you know what this looks like? It looks like a strand of DNA. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. It looks like a strand of DNA. Um, okay, it's just like, I don't know, like science is coming through the whole like, getting pregnant, making a baby, um, reproducing, like, um, it's just, it's just coming through. And I know it's sort of bizarre, but that's what I'm getting. It's like you and another person are about to <laughs> create another little being by intertwining your DNA. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's probably the most bizarrely delivered message I've ever given, but that is what I'm receiving. That is what I'm getting and I'm going to give it because it's always my intention when I come on here that the right people find my videos, the people who need the messages, who are meant to hear the messages, okay? On the bottom, we have joy and stability at number four. Man, you are going to be so happy, so over the moon. You are going to be, I don't even have words. You're just going to be over the moon. This is a light time um, filled. This is a light filled time in your life is what I'm trying to say. Get ready for a celebration. Okay, many of you are going going to be um, throwing an um, gosh some sort of a party, okay, to celebrate the the pregnancy, a baby shower, I guess they're called. <laughs> My goodness, something like that. Um, yeah. 
And again, if this isn't, if, if you're not trying to conceive or, or have a baby, you guys, um, this is you like finding, reaching a major milestone in your life. Finding what makes you happy, creating joy and stability in your own life, discovering your, your gifts, your talents, your skills. After a period of feeling stuck, helpless, hopeless, alone, unsure of which direction to go in, that's all changing. That's all changing for you. Wow. Pisces. Anything else for Pisces? Oh, so beautiful. We have opportunity beckons, four of cups. I feel like after a period of feeling quite um, disappointed, multiple, you could have been rejected multiple times. Like for example, or feeling, you could have been um, working through feelings of rejection. Okay, so for example, if you, for example, tried to get pregnant multiple times, there were like at least four times where you know, the results came back negative and it was quite sad for you, quite heartbreaking. And you're wondering like, when is my opportunity coming in? When is this happening? How much longer am I going to have to wait? How many negative results am I going to have to, you know, go through? And for others of you, who are not hoping to get pregnant, but wanting to birth the new. I feel like you're switching your perspective and you're, you're starting to have like this attitude of gratitude and it's pulling in, it's manifesting what you want. You're becoming more of a magnet for positive things in your life. Yeah, I just feel like after a period of maybe disappointment and um, feeling helpless and hopeless, things are about to just move forward in such a positive, stable way for you. Okay, Pisces, um, many of you have love coming in in the way of a soulmate or a best friend or a child, definitely a child here. And if it's, if it's not a child, then, you know, when people make their own business or open their own business or create something, it's, it's like their baby, right? Their metaphorical baby. So it could be that too. That something that you've nurtured is about to be born. We have another eight coming out. Eight, eight. Moving on. See, I feel like this is you moving on from disappointment or... Things that just didn't work out in the past. And you're opening yourself up to new ideas. To new ways of doing things. We have open up on the bottom of the deck. So again, for example, like maybe you were really hoping to just get pregnant the traditional way, right? But maybe now you're, you're opening up to other options, other avenues, right? Like for example, the in vitro, right? And you've had to, maybe this is something that you didn't want to do, that you've had to confront. You've been afraid of. Okay. Anything else for Pisces regarding this situation? Anything else for Pisces? This one. This one, lead the emperor. This is you taking charge of your life. Feeling more in control of your emotions and your life is what I want to say. Um, for others of you, I mean, this is like divine masculine energy. So you could be a father someone like an expecting father soon. Okay. I am getting 
that message again that there could be two men wanting to have a baby. Maybe you're getting like a surrogate, like somebody to have your baby. Finding different avenues, different ways, taking control of your life, stepping up. Maybe you found out that your wife is, a, is pregnant and you're about to be a father or you're about to be a parent. And now you're like, okay, I'm going to have to step up. I'm going to have to step it up. Right? If that's not the case, you could be um, opening up your own business. You're, you're in charge of other people. You're a leader, a manager, a coach. Somebody that people look up to and respect. Very powerful. Six of Swords, believe and succeed. So I feel like you've had to confront a lot of fears here, fears, worries, doubts, and insecurities. And you've really come through a dark time into a light filled time in your life. Okay. And things are about to really move in a positive direction for you. You've reached a major milestone in your life, Pisces, and you're about to receive a gift from the universe. That's going to make you very, 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 very happy. <laughs> I said very, a lot of times, but that's how it wanted to come out. Um, you're going to be ecstatic. After a period of feeling quite helpless, hopeless, and sad, and having lots of disappointments, things are about to be very su successful, okay? And for many of you watching, this is a pregnancy. This is a child. And for others of you, this is a creative project or a new life that you're giving birth to or a business, an idea. Some of you are opening up to your spiritual gifts and you're about to step up and lead and teach others. You could be teaching others how to confront their shadow and work through fears or how to address um, the subconscious or tap into their intuition. Okay. Lots of messages coming through. So um, I could go on and on and on, but I don't want to make this reading too long. So yeah, just Pisces know that if you were going through a very difficult time and you kept receiving disappointing news, know that things are about to turn around and you're about to receive some really exciting, happy news. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, I want to get an oracle for you. I'm going to use the Moonology deck. Four Pisces, please. An affirmation for Pisces for their greatest and highest good at this time something that can help them along their journey. What do they need to hear? Thank you. Go deeper. New moon in Scorpio. Aren't we just about to have a new moon in Scorpio? Like tomorrow? If you're watching this in real time, I am 90% sure that there is a new moon we're in Scorpio season right now, and I'm pretty sure the new moon is like today or like in a couple days. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday, November 9th, so 2023. Yeah. This could be in relation to you going deeper within and confronting certain fears 
okay, worries and anxieties that you have. It could even be fears over becoming a parent, you know. Um, wondering, you know, if you're going to be good enough, if you, if you have what it takes. Okay, maybe you had a parent who wasn't the best role model and you're worried about being like them. But the thing is, you're not. You're not like them. You're you. And history is not going to repeat itself if you're conscious and aware. So don't worry about that if that's one of your fears, okay? Um, I just feel like something, something big is about to happen here for you. Go deeper. For some of you, you could have a soulmate coming in and they're ready to go to the next level with you. They're ready to take this relationship deeper um, and express their emotions. Go to that next level. Go deeper. Express themselves. Express their deeper emotions and feelings for you. For others of you, I'm at, this is so bizarre. Um, I'm looking at the waterfall and it's, it's just reminding me of like the feminine energy and um, the birthing process and how, well, the many women experience the water breaking just before birth. And I'm just noticing the waterfall. So it's just bringing my awareness to that. And I feel like it's just more confirmation, you guys, about this thing being like, whether it's a baby or a new idea or a business or something, okay, being birthed. It's like the floodgates are about to open. Okay, that's it too. When you figure out this news, when this news comes in, this positive news, the floodgates are going to open. You're going to be so happy. You're going to burst into tears, sobs sobbing and crying tears of joy that's what i'm getting okay pisces this is what i have for you i do hope you enjoyed the reading i'm sending you all the good vibes please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care of yourselves okay pisces bye